Hello, good morning. Welcome to the course Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ASP.NET Maker. I'm Benjamin Fadino. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create the transactions table. We are going to learn how to create the transactions table. Okay. We are going to ensure that our service is running. Our SQL Server service is running. Okay, so the Bukolua instance is running. We are good. So I'm going to search for Management Studio, click on it. This time around, I'm going to connect using Windows Authentication. I click Connect. The objective is to create the transaction table. So I expand databases node, I expand with bank DB node. I have two tables already. So I right click on tables node, I go to new. So let's have transaction ID. That type is big int. Let's make it primary key. Let's set it as identity column. Let's have a transaction date. Going to use date time this time around. Let's have account ID. This will identify on which account is the transaction being carried out. That type will be begin to also be mandatory. Now the description for the transaction. Let's make it end text. It's going to be compulsory as well. Now um, debit. That is how much is being withdrawn from the bank account. Let's make it decimal. 18 but as currencies most current uh, most currencies normally have two decimal places for example in, in nigeria we have what we call naira and then we have the kobo part the kobo part we represent it with two decimal places so that's why i'm changing that zero to two it's going to be compulsory and then we are going to set a default value here of zero and we're also going to have credit as credit means the amount that has been paid into the account. We are also going to use decimal 18. Then we'll change to 2, change the Kobo for because of the Kobo part, make it compulsory. Let's see, do we have all that we need? Transaction ID, transaction date, account ID, description, debit, and credit. I think we have all we need. Then the last stuff. I'm going to do is to save this account. Yeah, sorry, is to save this table. The last stuff I'm going to do is to save this table. So I go to file, he can save, save table one. The name of this table will be transactions. Click OK. Thanks for watching.